Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another summer fragrance review. And this one has been a cheapie. I mean, sometimes, I mean, lately all prices have been fluctuating. However, this one's been pretty okay, uh, easy to find for, I would say around the $40 mark, maybe a little bit more, um, depending on the size. I think the size that I have right here is maybe a 4.2. Yeah, this is a 4.2. 75 ounce or 75 mil is cheaper. Anywho, let's talk about the fragrance from the House of Dolce & Gabbana. It's Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Sun. Now, first and foremost, let me go ahead and say this. This is the first one from the Light Blue line that I picked up. This one was a blind buy, although I'd already smelled uh, the original, which I liked, and the O Intense, which ironically I actually liked a little bit less than the original, but... I really love coconut and I love anything that has a sunscreen vibe and this has coconut in it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. I went ahead and blind bought it for that reason. In the top it has grapefruit, ozonic notes, uh, bergamot, ginger, mid, coconut, nectar, rosemary, cedar, osmanthus, and in the base white musk, vetiver, oak moss, and vanilla. Now let's talk about what I really smell because I don't necessarily smell the notes that uh, it proclaims to have in it. So when I smelled this fragrance, uh, initially I got just like a really nice beachy aquatic. Yeah, so for me, I just get the aquatic. Um, the ozonic notes, not a lot of grapefruit, which is good because I don't care for that. But you're gonna get some citruses, the ginger, the woodiness. I don't necessarily get the vanilla, but let's go ahead and talk about it a little bit more. So when I smelled it on paper, it was mostly that, but as it's drying down, you start getting the sunscreen vibe. And when I was smelling it in the air around me, I was I kept smelling something that was sunscreeny, and I was like, what is that? Because initially I'd gotten mostly aquatic off of um, like just smelling it too close. So when I got that sunscreen vibe, I was like, okay that coconut is starting to come out and the the vanilla typically adds to the coconut but i don't feel like it is a prominent vanilla it just kind of sweetens this just a little bit to give it a little bit of added oomph um but to me this is just like if you want something that's aquatic and beachy sunscreen beachy at the same time when i say sunscreen i need you to know i love that smell that is one of my favorite smells i love a tropical scent and most top tropical scents kind of have that sunscreeny coconut vibe going so when you mix aquatic with coconut uh sunscreen vibe to me it's the perfect beach scent and i really really like it and a lot of you guys said that this was a really bad performer but on my skin i got over seven hours and in some cases over eight now did it scream off of my skin no but if i'm wearing to the beach I don't want it to scream off of my skin because I feel like that's going to be too cloying, especially because some days out here get really, really hot. I remember one day I went to the beach. We forgot to bring an umbrella. Uh, we set up for about 10 minutes before we were like, it's too much. We got to get out of here. In weather that is so hot that you can't sit without an umbrella, I think you probably don't need something that's going to scream off of your skin. So for me, I don't have any issue with the performance. Again, on my skin specifically, I was actually getting a little bit over eight hours. And for me, if I want something to last more or maybe project a little bit more, what I'll typically do, and I have done with this fragrance and it has worked, is put a little bit of a base on of, uh, you can do Isoe Super and Broxen. I actually mixed a base of I believe it was Isoe Super and Broxin and Hedion. I made myself a couple of bottles of that. And when I feel like I want something to project more, I just throw it on my skin, let it dry, and then throw my fragrance on on top of that. And I have no issues with performance. But I will say that without that, I was still getting the seven to over eight hours of longevity. And projection was fine. It was de in the designer range. And this is a designer fragrance. Siage was good as well. Um, but again, not a screamer, not gonna be a screamer. So. If that matters to you and you don't want to uh, layer some sort of molecular base on, then maybe this isn't going to be the fragrance for you. Now let's talk about who can wear it. I personally think anyone can wear it. However, this does have an aquatic vibe. It doesn't say anything about the aquatic notes, but if you are sensitive to aquatic notes, I think you're going to smell them here because I do. Um, I don't think that I want to put an age on it because I don't feel like it's too sweet and I 
feel like it has just enough sweetness to make it a little bit more fun and playful in terms of it uh like most aquatics are marketed to men this does have more of a sunscreeny feel so i would actually say f in this line it's the most um unisex one i've smelled so yeah i i will say to me this smells really unisex i'm going to uh, probably blind by the women's one too because if it's anything like this, I like this. It's just like a really easy reach for high heat. I kind of want to compare the two. I want to see if that has any aquatic notes. Uh, is it sweeter? Either way, it just seems like it'll be a really easy buy for me. So I personally think anyone can wear it. When you can wear it, I would say is, obviously it's a summer fragrance. It says sun in the name. I mean, it's like a golden yellow looking bottle. Um, this, this goes literally with my background pictures guys like this is just it's all summer but you can wear it in the spring uh, but I think obviously it's marketed to summer summer days and warm summer nights I would not dress this up if you're going somewhere casual I would definitely wear this um, beach definitely meant for the beach definitely meant to be taken on vacation uh, if you're going to a nice dinner but you're in a resort in Mexico I think it'll do just fine that is what this is meant for in my opinion i wouldn't wear this to work or try to dress it up or anything like that but at the same time it is an aquatic fragrance and if you don't need a big collection this could be a grab and go for anything i literally just wouldn't wear it formally like if you're going like you know dress suit and tie whatever not so much in terms of compliments this one didn't really do it for me i think most of the time it's got to be a little sweeter than this for people to notice it but at the same time when i take it with me on vacation this summer i imagine i'm gonna get a little bit you know i think it'll be more something people will notice it's a uh, you don't get compliments as much in your daily life and you know i work a pretty decent amount so i'm not able to go too many places otherwise Otherwise, it could have been a different story. Do I think it's going to compliments? Yeah, aquatics are really likable. Uh, sunscreeny scents, for me, have actually done me really well. People really like that. Um, I'll, I don't know what it is, but sunscreen scents, even with the general public, tend to do really well. In terms of cost, this one is in that $40 range. I don't remember exactly how much I spent over $40 or if maybe I spent a few dollars under, I'll link where I got it down below. And if I can find it for um, a decent price anywhere else, I'll link whatever I can find down below. Cause you know, these sites sell out so quick. I don't know that they're gonna be selling out of this. It's not summer yet, but I think other people have been also getting into the spring summer mode. And uh, I think people are not really buying the cool weather scents as much anymore. If you've tried this fragrance, comment down below. Let people know what you think. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it. Be subscribed to my channel. Hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop another video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.